It's Barrett, AKA Flex Armstrong. I don't want to say regrets um, on it. I mean, I understand how it definitely rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. What I'm thinking right now is a lot of people after this fight are coming up to me saying, do the right thing. Win the crowd. That's what you want to do, but I'm going to do it my way. And I'm going to tell you why. Not a lot of people gave me a chance when they found out that I'm a professional wrestler stepping into the MMA cage. And I said, don't worry about it. Stop talking, I'll stop talking when I'm ready. How's that? Um, you know, I, I, I showed up there, it was my first fight. I was excited to be there. And this guy here, take a look at this guy. The story behind that is, you know, I really didn't get a fair shake of uh, respect, so to speak, going into the fight. You know, nobody came up to me and said, oh, this is your, your first fight, you know, you're a pro wrestler, hey, good luck. It was, hey, uh, you know this is real, right? What are you gonna do, give him a rock bottom? And I'm, I, you know, took it all in, and it wasn't until I, uh, you know, knocked the guy out, and, you know, immediately was just booed. Oh, that's a KO. My goodness. You know, that I'm like, all right, uh, this is what you want. You want to boo me? I'm going to give you what you want then. I told everybody I was talking about. I told everybody who was in the first round, you can boo all you want, but I'm the winner. Uh, it was disappointing, you know. It was, it was disappointing to go out there and really put yourself out there in a, in a, in a primitive form like that and saying, hey, you know, here I am, man, man to man with somebody else. You know, you're in there to win it. It's a, it's a, you're, you know, it's very competitive, and you know, and and for them, to, yeah, just to kind of turn their back <laughs> against me right off the bat, um, yeah, they, they should have expected that kind of response. So I don't regret it. I don't regret anything I said. Um, but at the same time, yeah, I mean, I uh, in the future, if if something similar happens, then it's a, it was a learning experience. You're a professional wrestler. You can't step in the MMA cage. You're an entertainer, they're saying. Well, I quote Maximus Decimus Marinus when I say, Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Uh, Jason Barrett, 30, from Dorica, Massachusetts. Hi, I'm Christian Lombari, 34 years old, fighting out of Methuen, Massachusetts. September 15th, I'm making my return to the cage at Latitude and Peabody against Christian Lombari. Why now? Because I couldn't wait any longer. If someone showed me a video of Flex, didn't like the way he disrespected his opponent. He said, now's the best time, now's the time to do this. So you need a villain. You need a villain to, to build up that, that good guy. And if, if I'm going to be the, the reason for, for the fans to get behind somebody else, yeah, I'm, I'm content with playing that role. They're going to be disappointed when that guy loses. I don't like how he brings the entertainment wrestling attitude into mixed martial arts. And when I exit the cage, people are cheering for me. Well, they're booing me. I've done my job. You know, if they, if, they, if they like me, they can like me. If they want to hate me, I'm just as happy with that, too. It's a reaction. He, he flex looks like a badass. He's very big, very big. He's very strong. But on the other hand, how many people you see in the UFC look like that? Not many. Being a professional wrestler, you have to be very athletic to do that stuff. What he's doing by saying, yeah, he's a monster, he's big, he's looking past my athletic ability. I'm very athletic. I'm taller, I'm leaner. His short, stocky muscle isn't gonna help him. Make no mistake about it, I'm a dangerous human being. And he gets in there with me, no matter who it is, all I gotta do is land that shot and I win. He's definitely fighting for the wrong reasons. He's fighting for uh, hits on YouTube and I'm fighting to see what I got inside. I get a lot of uh, YouTube uh, press, so um, yeah, it's not like I'm you know, somebody that's hidden under a rock. People know who I am, and, and for him to uh, make a name for himself in MMA, I think he needs to beat me. You won't find many people around that look as good as I do, and Flex don't even come close. I know he's very good looking. He's the prettiest mixed martial art fighter in the area. He's his own biggest fan. Uh, I got soft looks. I'm more attractive than most. So I, if I can just not look into his eyes and be mesmerized by his overpowering good looks, then I, sh I should be okay. Not only am I going to win on September 15th, I'm going to punish him. I'm going to punish him severely. I'm going to make it look really good. September 15th, I'm going to have to destroy something beautiful. Flex, September 15th, best of luck to you because I'm coming. And I'm coming with bad intentions. Christian, this one's for you, pal. September 15th, it's not a beauty contest, my friend. Even if it was, I'm not so sure you'd win that either. I'm pretty good looking myself. But make no bones about it. At the end of the fight on September 15th, you're gonna be the ugliest one in the cage. This is Christian Lombardi, get your tickets now. September 15th, it's 
going to be a show to remember. Big shots from the champ. Well, I guess the hype is real. That's it. That's it. It's all over. Big slam. Huge overhand right.